Yeah. So in this course curriculum, so we are going to discuss that so DevOps and ML Ops engineers, the complete roadmap from the scratch on for the beginners onwards. We are going to discuss that. Yeah, so this is the roadmap to learn the DevOps and ML Ops or AI Ops engineer. Ops is, yes, that's the operation engineer activities, like normally if you just talk it, maintenance activities, troubleshooting, performance and tuning, log management. Yes, they're all like operational activities. But these operational activities, you are working for that developer support, or you are working for that ML engineers, that is data scientists, or you are going to support for that AI engineers. Yeah, operational activities are the unique, but these operational activities, so web applications or ML apps applications or AI applications, how you are going to work with that that is about our course curriculum. Yeah, this is going to, this program covers like a complete range of the topics from the Python and some basic fundamentals on the data science to workflows, ML workflows. We are not working on the development side, but you need to have the Python. Yes, Python you should have. But not into that algorithms and fine tuning models that is not required. That is a deep learning. That is a different concept. But as operation engineer, you should have the, the Python with the data science fundamentals and ML workflows to deploy that, uh, these ML based applications. Yeah, this is the tool which we are going to use at that. So DevOps and ML ops, if you just talk it, the, the difference workflows, ML workflows, ML flows is there. And Git is yes, anyway, Git is required for the DevOps engineers or MLOps engineers. And the Docker, this is the deployment model, whether that is DevOps or MLOps, Docker and Kubernetes, that is required. And CACD pipelines, yes, they're all like the tools that is required. And coming to the, the requirements, yeah, so like uh, you don't need that any prior technology, we are going to deal from the scratch onwards. No previous technical knowledge is required. But if you have some prior knowledge, that's going to help you quickly to learn it and go ahead. That will be helpful. That means if you have this computer's background or uh, the working on that, uh, this IT field, that's going to be helpful, but that is not mandated. And duration of this course, yes. If you are going to learn that only DevOps, that is a three months, the course duration that is required. And once DevOps is done, then we are going to work with that AI-based application, that is LLM applications also, we are going to work with that. That is a two months, total five months duration. But if we need that only DevOps, that is a three months duration. Yeah, five months, and at least if you spend that like five hours per day, then that will be helpful. And yes, that's like um, um the weekends you will be having that assignments. So the, on the concepts, whatever we are going to talk in that, you will be having the assignments on it. And coming to that, so who can, um, that's like a, opt for this course is, yes, data scientists, like seeking the, to extend their skills into the operational aspects, or developers, DevOps professionals, yes, extending that DevOps into that next level of that, the technology that is DevOps engineers and data engineers. And these DevOps or MLOps, if you just observe, they are like a process model. They are not the tools. That is one important point which we should know that. They are all the process models. Yes, IT professionals who are working in, suppose now that some of the DevOps tools, even the developer also should know it. Testing teams also should know it because they're all included in the process. Yes, IT professionals or freshers or entry-level students. Yes, so they're all like, uh, uh, I mean, these kind of the people, yes, they can go ahead and to learn this course. And what we are going to have it, or what are the main highlights if you just talk it from this course? Yeah, one of the cloud, you should have it because uh, deployment environment, if you need it, a development environment, if you need it, yes, cloud is the very, very important. Yes, we are going to deal with the AWS core services and uh, Git GitHub. Yes, this is the DevOps tool. 
they're all like a DevOps itself initially if you just talk it. But even the MLOps engineer also, he should know all these things. AWS, Git GitHub, Docker and Kubernetes, even for the DevOps engineers required and MLOps engineers required. And the Python also, even the DevOps, if you go for that, they are asking that the Python, even that MLOps, yes, that is a mandatory the Python. And packaging the ML models. Yes, this is ML applications, how to package it to deploy into the production environment. Yes, if you have the Docker, Docker-based packaging model, or if it is the normal Python-based application, Python-based deployment models. And ML flow, this is especially uh, the which, I mean, which, this is especially designed for that ML-based applications. And how do you build that ML applications? So during the learning about the DevOps, we are going to work with that, how to build web applications. But whenever we are going to work with that machine learning applications, how to build that ML-based applications, and how do we define the, the flow for that ML-based applications. There are additional things. You are going to learn it in the ML apps. And CACD, whether that is DevOps, I mean, web applications in the DevOps in here, or CACD, even for that, LLM based applications, yes, which we should know that how do we define the CACD? Jenkins, yes, this is the genetic tool, either the DevOps units or like MLOps units, which we should know it. And monitoring and debugging, whether that web based applications, you should know that monitoring and debugging, we have the Prometheus, Grafana, like the same ML based applications also, which we can use the Prometheus and Grafana. Yeah, continuous monitoring and deploy applications with the Docker Compose. Yes, how do we deploy the web-based applications using the Docker and the LLM-based application, that is AI-based applications also using the Docker. Yeah, continuous monitoring and post-production. So these are all some highlights from the course curriculum, which we are going to deal with that. And what are the different modules we are going to learn it? Yes, you are going to have it complete all these, uh, the courses, they are like as a modules. Yeah, Linux, shell scripting, AWS core services, Git GitHub, Terraform, Docker. Yeah, so we have those like, um, let me show the portal. Yeah, this is about our uh, LHS, I mean, uh, yeah, LLM, uh, sorry, <laughs> LHS based application where you are going to get that all the recorded videos. Suppose if you go to the Linux admin and where you can get that all the Linux related, the videos. So what are the class we are discussing that class recorded videos also will be given and as well as you have those already the pre-recorded videos. Yeah, so there are all the modules you are going to get it. So on uh, like, yes, uh, if we just go for that first, which we discussed uh, the Linux and shell concepts and AWS, Git, 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 GitHub, Terraform, Docker, Kubernetes, Jenkins, and a DevOps complete CACD project, and GitOps also. One more thing, GitOps. Yeah, this is also current to more demand especially Kubernetes environment you are working, they are asking this on the GitOps. Yes, we have added GitOps also to the DevOps. Until these modules, or Python also, yeah. Until these modules, we can say that DevOps engineer should know that. All these points, which, I mean, all these modules, which comes under DevOps, once this is done, then we are going to move into that ML based applications. How do you package it and how to build it and how to define that uh, the machine learning flow and how do we define that uh, the Jenkins for the machine learning applications and how do you monitor these ML based applications and how do we manage that in the post production with the security and uh, testing models, tuning models, how do we apply to the ML applications.
see here you are going to have the, the two opportunities one is website or mobile based applications how do we define that the cicd pipelines that is for the java developers or the python developers or the node js so these applications how do we manage it and next you are going to learn it like ml ops also that is for that next generation applications like a data scientist whatever the application they are implementing on their system how do we design that ml flows to move these applications into the production and how do you monitor it and how do you manage it in the post production so these kind of the requirement next which we are expecting in the market huge demand so everyone is saying that yeah 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 but that a based applications how do you manage it and how do you monitor it and how do we uh, deploy it from the developer system to the production that is about ml ops and this course content the weekly wise it has been organized yes the first week i mean that is like these are all like uh, as uh, we said the demo session yeah introduction of the devops and sdlc types of sdlc there all the concepts and next uh, uh two weeks we are going to spend on that aws the important and essential services with one project next we deal that important concept that is a git github by the ml ops engineer there are like essential skills for every engineer cloud is required version controlling systems required that is git github this is one week and next in the fourth week we are going to work with that whatever we discussed here manual or ua based we are going to work it here automation approaches that is used in the terraform one of the important concept next another important concept in the current market whether that is which type of uh, application doesn't matter that but a deployment model micro service based application with the docker and kubernetes that is week 5 and 6 we are going to discuss that next one that is discussed and we go for the complete with the project the cicd pipeline with the jenkins the 7 8 and weeks and 9 and 10 the project complete a devops or cicd process model and a week 11 that is gitops as we are talking that this is also one of for the important skill they are asking that's in the current market do you know the gitops yeah especially we are working on the kubernetes this has to be mentioned so the, this is one week we are going to spend it on the gitops so devops gitops ml ops ai ops operation engineers and one programming language that is a python programming yeah whether the devops engineer or ml ops engineer this python programming required until these weeks that means week 13 that approximately 3 and of months 3 to 3 and of months which you can say that the devops activities we are going to discuss that once this is done then we are going to start it about that ml applications what about this ml projects and how do you do the, the packaging and how do you define the flow for this ml based applications and how to build these applications yeah we have the, the fast apis or the streamlined uh, api there are all the python apis so we are going to understand that this module or these frameworks from the python to build machine learning based applications and then once these applications are the built how do we define the jenkins pipelines like here ci cd normally which we will talk it in the devops process but one more process that is ct that is tuning data tuning is one more stage which has been added in the ml ops normally devops ci and the cd we will talk it but here one more the important stage which will be added for this ml ops or ai ops so that is ct that is continuous tuning the data so how do we define this pipeline models then continuous monitoring 
using Prometheus, Grafana for that ML based applications, how do we implement it? And finally, in the post production modules, like a security point of view and a testing models point of view, privacy point of view, how do we manage that? These ML models. That is overall 20 weeks of the program. That is approximately five months, which includes about the DevOps and ML ops. Yeah, where I didn't include that, uh, these following courses, Linux and Shell Scripting, there are like a parallel classes you will be having that. So Linux and Shell, and as well as, if you would like to know that deep into that AWS, we give you the course where you can learn that self-study. So we will give that the important course services in the regular, and as well as we will share it, some advanced uh, course, uh, if you would like to extend that some more subject, yes, you can do that. And how to use the chart GPT for the developers. So this is also like a, once the DevOps is done, we'll assign this. So any Terraform code or like a, if you'd like to work with us, the programming approaches, how you take the help of the chart GPT. There are like additional bonus courses, which we will give it that. So this is the overall course curriculum of the DevOps engineer plus MLOps engineer complete roadmap. So is it clear to everyone?